What's going on, E Nation fans? This is the Impress 48 here. Welcome back to another episode of Racing Topics with the Impress. Holy hell, it's probably been a while since I did like a Racing Topics episode, I guess. I know. Honestly, I, I like doing racing stories more, to be honest. Racing topics, I know. I enjoy doing them, but like I'm more busy with like racing stories, and I enjoy them more. But that's not what we're going to be talking about. So, I had work today. Of course, I didn't see the race. But to be completely honest, even if I didn't have work, I still wouldn't watch the race. I know, calm down, calm down. Before y'all go crazy in the comments, just let me explain. Let me just talk about this first and then go crazy after. So when the when the clash uh when NASCAR decided to do the clash at the Coliseum, at the, the historical LA Coliseum, to be honest, I wasn't like mad or like No, trust me, I was not mad or anything. At first I it was like a question mark, like a race I felt like, what? Like, to be honest, it did not feel real. It did not feel real at all. But that's how I mainly felt the entire time, to be honest, since it was first announced. Like, how is this possible? Is this real life? How is this, how's this going to work out? Because it's not a racing stadium. Like, I don't know. That's how I really felt, to be honest. Like, it's more like a, I don't know, what the hell. But... To be honest, um, the positive side, in my opinion, about the Clash of the Coliseum was that modern NASCAR, standard-wise, that was like the most creative thing I've I've ever seen when it comes to like NASCAR, probably like modern NASCAR, because to be honest. I don't like modern NASCAR. I don't like how NASCAR is right now still with the guard management. But to be honest, on the positive side, when it came to the Clash of the Coliseum, I gave it A for creativity. Like, I love creativity. And to be honest, that was the positive thing I said. Like, hey, I like how creative that is. Like, because everybody knows the past few years, like, the Clash has been like a... Just a just a race. Nothing spectacular, just a race. And then the 2020 clash happened, the worst clash ever. Then they did the road course last year. And to be honest, I was fine with the road course Daytona race. I liked the Daytona road course. The race was actually better than the, the August 2020 race, the, the Watkins Glen replacement race. I mean, as a Daytona fan, of course, it hurts that the clash is not a Daytona. It did hurt. It still does hurt. I will admit that. But here's the thing. When it came to the Clash of the Coliseum, even though I gave it A for creativity, I was not for the Clash, but I was not against it. I didn't know how I truly felt. That's how I really felt the whole time. To be honest, I still can't believe it's real. I still can't believe it's real. It does not feel real at all, to be honest. That's how I truly felt. So if you guys were expecting me to be all negative and all that, come on, relax. I'm not all 100% negativity about modern NASCAR, even though I don't like how modern NASCAR is with the current management. I'm not 100% negative. Like, I'll give credit where it's due. I'll give criticize if there's something to be critical about. So... I I don't know what else to say about that part. So how about the race weekend itself? How about the race itself? So NASCAR actually did a halftime show. And like, don't get me wrong. Ice Cube, he's a good actor. I know he's one of the most legendary rappers of all time. Hell, I love that one song. Uh, you know how we do it from Ice Cube. Yeah, because I got it from GTA 5. But it's actually a good song. I love that song. Like I got known against Ice Cube. But I just never expected him to be like a NASCAR. And then when... So like, yeah, it sounds ridiculous to have a halftime show at a NASCAR. It sounds ridiculous. Um, But it's not a NASCAR. What do you expect? But then the more ridiculous part that I find still stupid is like... DJ Ski? Um, playing when a caution is out. I still can't... I can't even say that with a straight face. 
I, for the people who did reactions to that race, I hope to God that they didn't get like copyrighted when DJ Ski was playing his songs under yellow. I still can't keep this at a straight face. <clears throat> I hope to God the reaction people, um, the people who did reactions to that race didn't get like copyright claimed or copyright strike because of DJ Ski. Oh my lord. Um, so, I hope to God they didn't. And then, so, like, the race weekend, I get it. Like, they were hyping it up, trying to be like, oh, it's like the best thing ever. Like, but here's the thing. I understand, like, again, I'm not all for or against the Clash at the Costia, but no, I do kind of understand what NASCAR's trying to do with the Clash. They're trying to make, like, a dying event, like, fresh. I did say that I gave them credit for, like, creativity. But at the same time, do we really need a clash? Do we really, do we really need exhibition races nowadays? Like, I don't know. Sometimes, like, uh, sometimes I felt like, hey, maybe the clash shouldn't be a thing at all nowadays because of how it is. Because, you know, it's like a testing over for the 500. Um, I'll get to that part later. Hopefully, if I, if, hopefully if I remember. So for race weekend, yeah, they were still trying to hype it up and all that. Like it's supposed to be like the best thing ever. <sighs> Surprisingly, it wasn't a fail when it came to like practice or qualifying. Like nobody fucking up their cars or some shit like that. I don't know. Oh, sorry. Um, so I'll give that that. Hey, nobody, like, screwed up their cars during, like, practice and qualifying. I'll give it that. But then, of course, the racing. This whole time, waiting for the race to, like, take place. I I, was, I never had a mindset, oh, this is going to be a shit fest. Because it's an unknown race. Like, I can't just criticize about something that has never taken place yet. But I was concerned about this. I was concerned about the Gen 7 cars because the Gen 7 cars, they are on a shortage. And I was questioning like, hey, NASCAR is short on the Gen 7 cars. The teams are short on the Gen 7 cars, but yet we're gonna go at it at a temporary short track. So like, why add the salt to the wound when you're on a shortage? I don't get it. It's it's modern NASCAR. But like, like, I wanted the Gen 7 to be successful. Like, way better than the Gen 6. Like, it's already off to a concerning state. Start. I don't want to say bad start, but like a concerning start because you know the shortage and how the drivers, you know, the 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 best drivers in the world, like killing each other as usual just for everyone's entertainment. So how how about the race itself? Sorry about Charlie barking. The race itself, from the looks of it, again I didn't see it. I was working, even if I didn't see it. Now, even if I didn't work, I still wouldn't see it. And I just didn't want to, like, avoid... I just didn't want to, like, waste my time being all bitchy about it. Because I know people in this channel don't want to hear me all bitchy complain when it comes to NASCAR. So, um, yeah, you're welcome for that, by the way. So, of course... Like, the reason why I avoided the race is because... I didn't feel like watching it. And it just wasn't for me. So I decided to just stay out of it and wait for Daytona because, I mean, not just because I love Daytona, but like, it's just one of those races that I just rather just stay out of. Like, just, I'm out of it. I'm, I'm, I'm just not feeling it. I don't want to waste my time being all negative about it. Um, but for the racing itself on the look of it, of course, it looked like, it looked like a typical uh, wreck festy short track racing. <sighs> Not that I'm saying like it's a negative thing. I don't know if it's negative or positive, but we're talking about modern NASCAR. Like, you can't take modern NASCAR seriously nowadays. 
even if I try to, I can't take it seriously. If they can't take it seriously, why should I? But it looked like people did like it. I mean, if you guys liked it, that's fine. That's fine. Hey, it's not for everybody. Um, of course, typical breakfast, everyone mad at each other and all that. I mean, yeah, I know it's short track racing, but NASCAR wants that. They want to attract the, the newer fans, the younger demographic. That's my issue, is that NASCAR is attracting the wrong people again. They haven't learned anything during the Brian Friends era. That's my issue, is that they're trying to attract the newer fans. They're trying to get new people when they're still a broken series and broken company with the chase and stages, the damage vehicle policies and all that stuff. That's my only issue. Even if I support it, even if I try to support it, I just can't. It's just... It's just NASCAR itself, modern NASCAR. I just can't support it. I tried to before. I tried to be as positive about it. I tried to be as positive. I tried to be as welcoming to like the newer people before because I thought when Brian Friends was out of NASCAR, I thought NASCAR would get better. They would fix what Brian Friends broke. But from the looks of it, with the current management, that's not gonna happen. That was my, that's my issue about it. My, my only issue with the clash is that they're still trying to attract the newer people, younger people again, while they're still abandoning the motorsports fanatics like myself, the core audience that made NASCAR a supposed to be motorsports series. That's my only issue, my gripe. That's my only issue is that they're continuing to abandon motorsports fanatics for more, for more stupid people who don't know what real racing is. Real competition because NASCAR continues to be like a wannabe stick and ball sport thing, an entertainment thingy. I can't call it a sport. I can't call it motorsports. It's not trying to be a sport. That's my only issue. I'm not trying to make this a negative video. Like, I tried to be like calm as possible about it, not as critical. It's just, it's how they are is my issue. Like, if NASCAR was a racing series again, like a but supposedly motorsports, pure motorsports series again, and they were going to the Coliseum, I would have been like, all right, okay. Like, still creative, but like, I don't know how it would truly felt either way, but okay. I guess, but like, like NASCAR's not, not my number one series to focus on as it used to be. So yeah. <sighs> I just wanted to get that out there. Like, like, I get it. Stadium racing was a thing before. And it's cool that... Now, I will admit, it's cool and creative that they brought back stadium racing for NASCAR. I'm just surprised it's still a, it's still working well nowadays for, like, the Cup Series. I'm surprised, but, like... So, how about the racing itself and the looks of it? Again, like, I've seen some videos. I don't know everything, so y'all gotta help me out here. So, from the looks of it, of course, typical... Wreckfest. Um, everybody wants to kill each other and all that. Um, just for the the the, you, the newer fans, the younger demographics, entertainment. It's for them, not for racing fans like myself. Um, but it looked. Did it? Was it really a good race though? Like racing standards. Like if besides the 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 stupidity crashes and all that, was it a good race? People said it was. Do I? I hope it is at least. I hope it was like a decent race at least. That's my positivity. I hope it's not like... It looked like a shit show, but I just hope it wasn't like as shitty show as possible. So, I don't know how the ratings are. Uh, the standings looked almost full. So, they still can't sell out. Oh, well. If NASCAR wants to continue to... Uh, uh, attract the newer fans and people who don't know anything about real competition in motorsports. Okay, they can just shoot themselves on legs like that. But if they want to do stadium racing, again, I'm not for or against stadium racing. I just think it's a creative idea, but I, I really don't have much of an opinion about NASCAR doing stadium races. I think it's creative. So there's that. So yeah. Thankfully, the clash is over. Everybody can shut up about the clash. I know people are still gonna talk about it, like the after, the the post race and all that. But 
Thank God the Clash weekend is over with. Thank God we're going to Daytona. Daytona 500 is finally here. Thank the Lord. Thank God we're going to a real racetrack. Thank God Daytona is upon us. Daytona 500, Daytona Speed Weeks. That's like the only thing that makes me happy in NASCAR nowadays. So did the Clash at the Coliseum live up to its potential? I don't know. Maybe? I'm not 100% sure. I can't really say much. I mean, I did say, but not much. But I don't know. <laughs> but um, let's see how the rating says, I guess. But here's what I learned about modern NASCAR before I go. I didn't mean to make this as long as possible. So before I go, um, I want to say this. I've had this thoughts, and it, it's mind-blowing. Modern NASCAR, modern, modern NASCAR, NASCAR nowadays are NASCAR's current management. Here's the thing about them. They don't care if they're, they're how NASCAR, how they run NASCAR today is garbage. They don't care if the point system that they have now is garbage, disgraceful, and terrible. They don't care if like, like they don't care if whatever they do nowadays is bad or garbage or people hate it. As long as it makes people talking about those things, as long as it makes people talk about it, that's all they care about. They don't care about our feedback, whether it's good or bad. They just care it makes us talk about it. And I think that's how NASCAR has been for like, for a while. And I think it's kind of scary. And, I, and with the current management, that's how they are. They just depend on that. They don't care if we like this, they don't care if we like the. they don't care if we hate this or we hate that. Hey, if it makes us talking, that's good for them. <sighs> so yeah, I, if you guys really did enjoy the clash, Hey, um, good for you. I'm not going to bash on people for like liking it. It just sucks that we'll never know how the Gen 7 cars will truly be like during Speed Weeks until the 15th of February. Because we only did preseason testing at Daytona for Gen 7 cars. That's about it. That's one of the things I miss about the Clash of Daytona is like, yeah, it's, I know it's like a, I know it was like a nothing race. But at least we knew how the cars are going to be when it comes to a big race. So what's going to happen to the Clash in the future? I don't know. Is this a sign for more stadium races? I don't know. I don't know. But. So I guess that's all I can say for now. I've just been having these thoughts for a while. Before the Clash, during, after. Like while working. And I just want to like release, say some opinion of mine. So yeah. All I can say, oh, so how do I kill the view? All I can say about the clash or after the clash, thank God it's over. Thank God, we can move on to Daytona. That's how I, that's how I truly feel. That's how I truly feel. Thank God Daytona's here. Again, I'm not. I was I was never for or against the Coliseum thing. I I don't know. So I guess that's gonna do for. Another video. Uh, thank, so I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Racing Topics with Dean Perez. Comment, like, and subscribe for more content. Follow for more social... Follow, follow, God, I can't do my outro right. Follow for more and more social content. Thank you guys so much for supporting E-Nation. This is the Impress 48 signing off. And I just want to say thank God Daytona's here. Thank God Daytona's coming. Thank God the Clash Coliseum thing is over with. Peace.